Beast is in the house. his way to the ring from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 295 pounds, Brock Lesnar! What a treat for the NXT Universe! Yeah, the bad news for the entire NXT roster. I want to know who, if anyone, is dumb enough to step in the ring with the Beast Incarnate. Not me. I've been calling Brock Lesnar's matches since he debuted here at WWE. And I have never been as frightened as I am when Brock Lesnar enters an arena. Brock Lesnar doesn't respect anyone in WWE or walking the planet Earth. Nor should he have to. You're looking at the Beast Incarnate. I can honestly say today that that man, Brock Lesnar, has meant more to my career than anybody else. Because the night he delivered an F5, Byron Saxton had to go to the announce table and do solo commentary. And it was on that night where the world realized how good I really was. Limitless! For all intents and purposes, a man of this size should not be able to move the way that Lee does. And his opponent from Wichita Falls, Texas, weighing in at 320 pounds, Limitless Keith Lee. I have a question. How come you two are so gung-ho about basking in Keith Lee's glory? I can think of plenty of other superstars you would call cocky or self-absorbed or full of themselves for saying the same exact thing. Corey, when you're a superstar who is both as large and as athletic as Keith, you can't help but expect others to bask in your glory. The big man, quick feet, and agility of the former collegiate defensive lineman that he is. Won a number of championships in the independent ranks before coming to WWE. There to bask in his glory, Byron. Keith Lee is physically, he is that much stronger mentally. I believe that's exactly what being limitless is all about. And Brock Lesnar, the beast incarnate, is a single-minded man whose only goal is the utter destruction of his opponent. Eat, sleep, conquer, repeat. Look at the monster that is Brock Lesnar. Perhaps he's thinking the ring can't contain what he has in mind here. Look at this. Boom, oh, nice. Uh-oh. Full mouth. Hammer fists. Striking at will. The ref might want to stop this one. An incredible range of emotions here. No one knows what's going to happen next. You know, Keith Lee calls himself limitless. What exactly does that mean, Byron? Well, that means his size doesn't dictate what he can do in the ring. He dictates what he can do in that ring. And there may be nothing more intimidating than a super heavyweight who can also move like a cruiserweight. Look at this, Byron. Here comes a suplex. Oh, oh. slingshot. And he goes for the pin. And a speedy yeah. kick out by Brock Lesnar. Gonna take more than that. Saxon, I'll give it to you on this. There's absolutely nothing more intimidating than a man who looks like Keith Lee, moving like he's Rey Mysterio's size. I mean, I could go for a little less of the bask in my glory nonsense, but Keith Lee truly does have the goods. 
Oh no, we've got a problem here, guys. There's going to be a lot of offense in this match. Oh, can he do it here? And he kicks out. Definitely has his work cut out for him. Job by Brock Lesnar there. Close quarters, D strike. Brock Lesnar with a nice reversal. Not again. One of these competitors is eventually going to have to gain the upper hand. Bang, not the shoulders are down. And Lesnar kicked out. The beast won't stay down. Hits him with a counter. Away your chest. Draped across the middle rope. What's next? Bringing it back between the ropes. Brock Lesnar just too fast for him. Lightning speed from the beast. They get dangerous out here, especially when there are no countouts. Lesnar with a waist lock. I think we're about to take a trip, gentlemen. This is where Brock Lesnar is at home. Suplex City. And this is going to be it. Brock Lesnar gets the win in an impressive fashion. Take a look back at the conqueror laying waste to his opponent.